Okay, let's go ahead and fill out the form Schedule A for Stuart and Sally Smith. Um, itemized deductions are deduction, deductions that you may take if they end up being larger than the standard deduction. I'm sure many of you have heard uh, people say that you need to hold on to your tithing receipts uh, because there's a tax deduction for it, or if you contribute in, uh, goods to uh, Desert Industries, you should hold on to those receipts or any other charity, qualified charity, because there's a tax deduction for those. However, there's only a tax deduction if you are itemizing your deductions, and we're going to see how that works here. So, line number one. Let's see, Stuart and Sally Smith. Let me come over here to the right assignment. Stuart and Sally Smith, did they incur any medical expenses? Yes, they had $1,390 in medical expenses with their birth, the birth of their daughter, Samantha, during 2012. So I'm going to input 1390 However, line 3 says you need to multiply line 2 by 7.5%. So that ends up being 2389 Now on line 4... It says subtract line 3 from line 1, but if line 3 is more than line 1, which it is, enter 0. What that means is Stuart and Sally Smith get no benefit, no deduction for these medical and dental expenses. You only get a, medical, a deduction for medical and dental expenses if that amount is larger than 7.5% of your adjusted gross income or your AGI. So usually it's for cases where you have a kind of more severe, catastrophic medical uh, uh, events that occur, emergencies where you have a large amount of medical expenses, then they do allow you uh, a benefit there. State and local taxes. Let's see if Stuart and Sally Smith paid any state and local taxes. What you're going to do is add up the amount of state taxes that were withheld from their paychecks. So they paid 1024 here plus 198. That equals 1000 Let's see if I can do my math right here. So that amount equals, let's see, 1,000, let's see, that's going to be 2, okay, the 1, looks like it's going to be 1,222. However, they also paid an amount to the state of Idaho. Uh, where is that? Where they paid $350 to Idaho for their 2011 tax return. And because they paid in April 2012, you get the tax deduction for that. So when I add three hundred and fifty dollars to that, I get one thousand five hundred and seventy-two. And they're gonna go ahead and take the income taxes and send it to as a deduction. You get either income taxes or sales tax. Generally, if you live in a state where they don't have ink state income taxes, then you take state sales tax. Um, but in most cases, state income taxes will be higher than the general sales tax amount. Now, real estate taxes, does Stuart and Sally Smith own a home? Yes, they do know, own a home, uh, and they paid property taxes, which is real estate taxes, of $1,500. So their deduction for state and local taxes that they paid ends up being $3,072. Now, in the Internal Revenue Code, you also get a deduction for interest on your primary residence. It's called home mortgage interest, and it shows that they actually paid... Uh, right up here, $8,900 in mortgage interest uh, for their home. Put that in there. And I also should indicate that whenever you get a, like a 1099, 1098, anything that says official tax form, you need to be aware that this information is also being supplied to the Internal Revenue Service, to the IRS. Um, so that is their mortgage deduction, and they don't have any additional mortgage information, so it's $8,900 as their deduction for home mortgage interest, that is a deduction on the itemized deductions. Now, gifts to charity, right down here, line 16, did they make any charitable contributions? Yes, they paid charitable contributions to their church of 3,478. I'm going to go ahead and put that in here. And what about contributions to uh, DI, Desert Industries? They did make a donation to them, but that was clothing and furniture of $145. So you get the fair market value of the clothing and furniture that you uh, contributed to a qualified charity. So their donations to a qualified charity is 3623 No casualty or theft losses. And then when you add up all these amounts in Schedule A, the 3072 the 8900 3623 you end up with total itemized deductions of 15595 
And when I compare their total itemized deductions to the standard deduction, I can see that the itemized deductions of 15,595 will be larger than 11,900. So I'm going to take 15,595 as the itemized deductions here on line 40. Now I'm going to stop the video here and go on, but you should be aware that as I go on, I erase these numbers here because I want you to go back and look at the information and the instruction that is in each video. So in order to complete this assignment, you will need to watch each video.